have my layout share for you for the month of July. So lots of travel themed layouts and just lovely. I'm so excited about everything I got done this month. So this first one was for the telephone hop that we did this month with the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. There is obviously a video for it and I followed Moira's layout and so lots of fun if you've never checked out the telephone game hops that we do. One person creates a layout, sends it to the next person, that person uses the first layout to scrap lift to create their layout, sends it to the next person and so on and so forth and so you get to see this really fun transition from the original layout all the way through to the last one. So tons of fun, go check it out and most of this is using the out and about collection from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, I think all of it actually. Yeah. Uh, and so lots of fun goodies. I just threw lots of stuff on there wherever I could. This is a layout that I just got up the other day and this was for the off the board day, the official last Wednesday of the month where everybody does um, their off the board layouts and we all decided to do the same mood board for this particular one um, because this has also been the 30 days of off the board month so some people have been playing the whole month long and um, doing a layout a day and others are just doing it here and there and so we all decided it would be fun to share the same mood board that Crystal picked out and it was a gorgeous mood board so I had a lot of fun putting this one together but I've got some stamping in there with watercolors and little hidden goodies and just fun stuff all around so there is a video for that one. This is the uh, Christmas in July that I did for this month and this one was lots of fun to put together too. I followed a Stash Bash video that Christina from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and Redefine Creative put together using washi tape. I think hers actually went this way the washi tape was vertical and so I decided to give it a try. My picture was horizontal so I decided to do my washi horizontal and then just threw a few little embellishments here and there and I think this one turned out so cute. It's lots of fun. It's a great way to use up washi but also a great way to get lots of little patterns and and colors and stuff into a layout. This is one of my Wild Whisper layouts, so again, I've been just really, really enjoying taking all of my bits and pieces and scraps, uh, some older collections, and then using the new collections that were out from this quarter um, to kind of combine them all together to see what I can come up with. So here's another one that I did using, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maybe seven or eight um, collections in here. Oh, definitely eight because this comes from Sassy Since Birth. So there's eight collections in here. Go check out the video and the blog post to find out what they all are. And uh, yeah, I love how this one turned out. This is the layout that I did for the For the Love of Crafting and Sharing series. We were sharing our love of everything hot. And so I decided to go with kind of those warm, hot colors, and I did a, a beach picture, and you can see it's a hot, sunny day at the beach there. Um, the kids decided to bury Sebastian up to his neck, and I love this picture. I thought it turned out so good. And yeah, I just threw in lots of oranges and reds and yellows and um, some sequins and all different collections and lots of suns and I did some stamping and stuff just to kind of celebrate those hot colors. This is the stretch the sketch layout that I did so I'll just stretch it there for you guys and again so using a sketch and then I added some mixed media up here with some delusions paint through a stencil and I did a few spatters 
and then have my three photos. That was part of the sketch, and then this sort of um, layers in behind the photos was part of the sketch and a little round element over there and yeah this one was lots of fun to do the sketch had little fishies in it um, to kind of represent where the embellishment should go so I made sure to get little fishies in there and I like how that one turned out and again with my yellow and blue which I've been super obsessed with <laughs> This is um, my latest layout. This is the last layout going up for me for the month of July for the 30 days of off the board. So the inspiration was the paint here where you use um, string or I've seen people use different kinds of uh, like metal um, rope and stuff and you pull it through and get these really cool effects. So that's what that is, and then just little bits and pieces using up the scraps from my kit to put the rest of it together. So this is a Wild Whisper layout as well, using a couple of their different stamp sets and some of their embellishments and things. I think everything except the two wood veneer, those are from Evilicious. Everything else is from Wild Whisper, and it was using a Pinterest inspiration as well. Just this really beautiful gray background with kind of a mirrored image. So you can go and check out the video for that inspiration piece and, you know, how I kind of used it to create this. But I really had a lot of fun with this one with all the different stamps. This is for 30 days of off the board so the inspiration for this one was these beautiful balloons kind of blowing and they were all hanging on almost like clotheslines uh, and they, you could tell the wind was blowing a little bit and it was supposed to look maybe like the sun was setting behind the balloons. It was very beautiful and I'd love to use, use it for some color inspiration um, but in this case I just wanted to have kind of those rows of circles kind of like the balloons were hanging and so everything here is just punched from um, scraps and bits and pieces from my kit and then little stickers from various sticker sheets and some sequins from Spiegel Mom scraps and yeah this one was really really quick to make but I actually like how it turned out I think it's really pretty with all those pops of color and this mostly kind of earth tone picture and there's a little teeny tiny crab there, right there. So that was what the picture was all about. This is, again, for the 30 days of off the board. The layout that I took as my inspiration had this kind of beautiful burst and I thought it kind of looked like a sunburst so I decided to go for some yellow paper and then I folded it over and it has these fun pinwheels I think this is a photo play paper um, super super cute and then just some tiny embellishments not a lot needed on this one um, so you know a few pieces put in here some chipboard and stuff but really that burst is what is the feature of this layout and then I did some stitching I think there was stitching in the original on the yellow paper and then decided to do some stitching around the outside as well I love this one so much it was so much fun to make this layout was done for 30 days of off the board and also for my dear friend Moira's 1000 subscriber hop that we did so for her hop she just asked that it was travel themed which is perfect because that's what July is all about for me and then I got the inspiration for this um, from Pinterest as well so it kind of worked worked in my favor both ways um, so here I just did some mixed media. I kind of reversed the way that the picture was. So I put the blue on the bottom and then this peach up at the top. So oh, Luna just dropped her bone. <laughs> Instead of the blue at the top of the picture and Kaylin in peach at the bottom and the sand is kind of peachy. So this one is just lots of fun to play around with the different mixed medias and then um, there's some splatters of stuff in there and little bits and pieces. I think most of this comes from the Summer Lights collection from Pinkfresh Studio. Oh, and the inspiration was actually a quote. So it says, you will never tame her, for she is the sea by J.M. Storm. 
So my last layout is also for 30 days of off the board and the inspiration piece was, I think it was Easter and it was um, this kind of tied um, or laced together of two pattern papers going diagonal and then she kind of had it open in the corner and she filled it with flowers and I thought it would be really cute to do with Sebastian's picture wearing his Sewester hat. So uh, it's got the ties, so I tried to find something similar, not quite the same, this is ribbon, but close enough, and then it's got um, the red here because he's got that bright red shirt and the yellow for the hat and then the little pops of blue because of his blue shorts and I kind of tied it down the center instead of going diagonal just to give it my own little touch and I think this turned out so cute. I wasn't convinced at the beginning but um, the more I look at it the more I love it so yeah I think it turned out pretty adorable. And that is it for the month of July. It felt like a super busy month, but a lot of it is because I've actually been working ahead for August. So I will tell you more about that in my kit reveal for the month of August. But um, yeah, that's it for July. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them for me down below in the comments. And I hope you guys are all doing very well and excited for August. I hope you're not dying of heat like we are. Uh, take care of yourselves and thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, happy scrapping. Stay safe. Bye.